Hi there, I'm Dr. Loren M. Hill. I am with Acclivity and I am your academic career coach. Today, I am so honored to have with me as my guest, Dr. Kamal Kapoor. And she is amazing. Um, I We've been in touch now, I want to say probably about three years. And over that time, she has grown her speaker post, which we'll get into a little bit more. Um, but I wanted to give you that um, little nugget about where we'll end up in our conversation. We're going to land around speaker post. So Dr. Kapoor, you have such an amazing career trajectory. And you have been in industry, you've been in higher ed, you are an entrepreneur, you are a thought leader, you're a blogger, you are a mom, you're a wife, you're a family person, you are, and and I know that you also have a, a website for green seashells. <laughs> and so I just want to hear about how did you get to where you are now? Tell us, tell us all about, you know, what your philosophy is and how you are this sort of, you know, global worldview, you know, cultural evaluator, PhD, faculty. I, I mean, I could go on and on. How, how did you get here? <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. Um, well, you know, honestly, I've had a very interesting um, journey, Lauren. You know, I mean, I came to the U.S. as an international student from India. Um, then I completed my master's and PhD at Wayne State University in Michigan. Um, and then I moved to New York City to fulfill my dream to work um, on Madison Avenue. So, you know, I think a good 15 years of like um, business and um, entrepreneurship and maybe even freelancing stuff, you know, um, it was a great run. And then I moved to uh, Los Angeles. I was the trailing spouse, I moved with my husband. Um, and at that point, I decided, you know, it's time for me to kind of give back. I got a lot from academia. I got a lot from business. I learned a lot. Now it's my turn to like give back. Um, and so um, this is when I joined um, academia. I joined Pepperdine. Um, and then when I was at Pepperdine, um, I started to realize, okay, uh, this is great. I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving the students and I want to do more. So um, I also started teaching at UCLA um, and, uh, and at Cal State Dominguez Hills. So that's kind of been my sort of um, career trajectory and, um, you know, between entrepreneurship and business and academia, you know, I've been floating in these three worlds and um, I've loved it. Um, and the side note on green seashells, I had no idea you know about it. So green seashells, you know, honestly, it's an inspiration. You know, I was inspired. I like to write, and it, it's, a, it's a product of COVID. When I'm stressed out, I write, um, and I cook, and then I want to tell people what I cooked. And so I started with that, uh, and then that has been a journey of its own in terms of like health and um, lifestyle, and really, most importantly, happiness. Yes, yes. So I love green seashells. I I mean, I love you, right? You're an, you're an amazing woman. We are in Women's History Month, and I, I am so inspired by women and women like you and how we're just able to do so many things and, and, you know, still be able to manage, right? And what I can really appreciate from your story is how you set about being purposeful on giving back, right? So social good and volunteerism and focusing on who's coming up next, right? So as you've been with higher ed and you loved engaging with the students, I believe you 
and I talked about how there are some gaps, right? So the students are coming and getting their education, getting their degree, they're going into industry, whether that's a clinical or a business or what have you, but they don't often have uh, opportunities for professional development or opportunities to have access with folks in industry. So getting a mentor may be difficult or, you know, what do I even do with the mentor? So tell us about your experience with identifying that, you know, gap and how you set about hoping to fill that gap. Sure, I think it was actually at Pepperdine when I uh, when I found that students really wanted to uh, meet people from the field. Um, they wanted to hear from experts in the field. Um, and I mean, I came from industry, right? So when I was in New York, I had a lot of contacts. But when I moved to Los Angeles, I didn't have any who could come to my classroom. Right, that time the, the whole Zoom conversation wasn't there. So it was more like, let me bring someone into the classroom. And then I realized honestly that many professors, they move around. Many professors may not have worked in the field, in the corporate field. Um, and then, uh, you know, honestly, nobody really is comfortable just cold calling and reaching out to people on LinkedIn. And those conversations can get pretty awkward, right? Um, but they want to, they want to bring in people They want, because that's what the students care about at this point. Um, and so, Honestly, that was the start of speaker post. That's when I when I felt like we can we can we have to have a better bridge between industry and academia. Um, and how do we how do we make that happen? You know, and that was that was about three years ago. Um, you know, and since then we've had about four hundred plus members on the site. Um, lots of these transactions are happening where you know, faculty members are meeting people on speaker post who want to give back from the industry, right? And they're coming together and they're setting up these sort of in-class or Zoom lectures. Um, we're also doing panels with community colleges where we can have like five or six people from our speaker post community. It's all 100% volunteer based. You know, they're all coming together and they're like, well, okay, let students ask us questions about our industry and we'll do, the, do our best to kind of answer them. So what is speaker post? What is that? Uh, for those who are listening um, who or maybe viewing, they're hearing us talk about speaker post, but what exactly is it? So um, good question. So speaker post is actually, if, you, if you're familiar with the Facebook or, you know, like um, LinkedIn, it is like that. It is a, a social media networking platform, but it's geared very much um, toward helping students. It's a 100% free volunteer-based platform. Um, let's say you're interested to join, you would just um, sign up, have, create an account, and then you can reach out to whoever you want on that platform. Um, you know, and for one specific reason, right? So I'm, I'm a girl with a mission and dare I say a little vision um, <laughs> to, to touch student lives, right? So on this platform, you know, we have a little section called request a guest speaker. It's a form, you fill out the form, you submit the form, it manifests itself into a request. Um, and that would, you know, what would that request look like? Well, let's say I put a request out, it would say, I'm looking for a guest speaker in multicultural advertising. If you are this person, reach out to me and we can talk about how you can touch, you know, my classroom in a very special way. Come into my classroom, talk about multicultural advertising, answer my students' questions, um, and I would be appreciative and the students will remember you for a long time, right? So that is really the purpose um, of, you know, finding ways to, for faculty to connect with industry for one specific reason, guest speaking in high school and college classrooms. That's what the platform is. And that is speakerpost.com. So someone can just go on speakerpost.com, create their profile. You're absolutely right. It, it, it is a very user-friendly uh, platform. Looks like something we already know, right? If you're on Facebook, you're, it's going to look very similar to that. So it's uh, not difficult to navigate it. And one of the things that I thought about when you and I were talking about speaker posts was giving people opportunities to get in front of students, right? 
and how that can help with their professional development. And so there may be, you know, an early career person or a graduate student who's looking for an opportunity to talk about their research or, or even what they, you know, what they specialize in. And so they're close enough to the students that, you know, they have recently graduated and they can really help students see this is the next step for me, right? It's not someone who's, you know, 56 years old or whatever, and it's like, oh, that's 100 years from now, right? It's like, no, this person literally, you know, our early career within five years of, of completing their degree, and they can come into the classroom and talk about their experience new to the industry as well. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, honestly, it is open. It's an open platform. It's for everyone who wants to give back, who has that intention to give back. That is really my mission, right? So you might you might definitely find someone who's older who's been doing it for twenty years, um, and and you know they know some things that you know you and I may not know. And I would love to have them in the classroom. But students also really want to sort of um, connect at an emotional level with the speakers. And so we actually have a bunch of um, requests for younger speakers, mm -hmm. folks who can come and talk about. Well, if I want to be an influencer, you know, what do I need to do to be an influencer? And you bring in a 20 something year old influencer to come talk to the students. I mean, wow, it's a win-win for everyone. The influencer gets a chance to get their personal brand out there, right? Mm -hmm. And for students, you know, it's like, I learned something. I met an influencer and she can do it or he can do it. And they look like me, so I can do it, right? So there is absolutely that connection that we're going for. And we love bringing in um, the younger folks, because mm -hmm. that's what the students want as well. Mm -hmm. This is just, again, it's amazing. The fact that you had this vision, you actualized it, and there's space for everyone, right? There, there's the early career, there's the mid-career, there's the seasoned, and exposing students to people at various points of the career trajectory is great for professional development, right? Um, because what we hope is that as they're coming in, they're getting their education, they can see themselves sort of in the, the life cycle of a career. And so they can engage with people who are at various points in their careers. So what's next for you? What is next? <laughs> I know you have always have some ideas bubbling up and speakers post it's a huge commitment and it's you know it's off the ground and running and so what do you see next do you see speaker post doing some additional things or do you have some other project that you want to share with us what's what's going on over there well honestly like i i think of myself as a bit of an um, idealist um, you know, um, I, I believe that, you know, you know, in a beautiful world, I believe that everyone should help everyone. I, I, you know, where we focus, um, not just on competition, but on cooperation of some kind, right? Like, um, instead of just constantly outbidding each other, right? So I, I do believe in that kind of world. And, you know, um, Speaker Post is definitely one, you know, such way to build this collaboration, to continue to grow this collaboration. And we have to find ways um, to help each other, to work together, to help the students, you know, who really sort of need our help and need our mentorship. And especially like the first generation students, right? Students who's, um, um, who are first to go to college in their family, right? So I think um, for Speaker Post to grow, we need to expand the things that we are offering um, to these students as our community, as a community, right? Mm -hmm. um, so one thing that I'm trying to build on is um, mentorship. So have maybe like 30 minute one-on-one -on -one like mentorship um, calls like with an industry person, um, you know, and a student who really wants to get into that field and has no way of knowing how to get there. Or maybe they have burning questions like, you know, what kind of salary are we talking about? What kind of skills are we talking about? Um, how much time will it take me to get to a specific 
you know, level. And some of these people, they, they are students, but they may not be young, you know, they could be adult learners. Um, and they would really benefit from talking to somebody it, just for 30 minutes. It's not a very big commitment for an industry person to spend 30 minutes out of a month or three months or a year to just talk to someone. Uh, and there is clear willingness um, in the community uh, to help. So, you know, I think mentorship is clearly one, um, one aspect that I think will grow. Um, and, you know, I have a global vision. We, we can touch so many lives. Think about Zoom right now. Zoom has opened up so much. You know, if, uh, if, a, if there's somebody in religious studies wanting to study something about a specific community or a specific religion, just let's find somebody in like that country, you know, where that religion is prevalent, um, you know, or you know, things like that, like those, those connections um, would be great. You know, so again, global is, is another way I'm thinking this can go. Uh, so those are the two main sort of um, vision, like goals, I would say for this year. But yes, my intention is to um, stick to speaker post, grow speaker post, and touch as many lives as possible. That's amazing. And so once again, I'm totally in awe and inspired because you are a visionary. And so being able to engage with women and people uh, who are visionaries is very inspiring, right? And so I think that one of the great, I'm glad I'm part of Speaker Post and as someone who is seasoned in their career, I love talking and engaging with people who are coming into it because that's the lifeblood of my industry. I'm a clinical psychologist and I also am a career coach and academic career coach. And I think about, you know, here are the lives that I'm touching, but who's gonna come next, right? What's the next generation, the generation after that, and how can we help them make the world a better place, right? So you know from our conversation that, conversations in the past that I have a mission to make academia more diverse. And so anything I can do to help, you know, increase and change some of those demographics, that it must happen. Because if we're in front of the students and they see you and they see me and they see difference, they get diverse opinions, you know, they get diverse perspectives. And then when they go into industry, then they're able to offer that perspective as well. And it's very encouraging. Like you said, there are some first generation students and first generation students can look like anything, right? It, it just means they're the first one to go to university or college. And those students are very vulnerable, right? They can drop out, stop out, you know, attrition rates are very, very high. And so having a mentor, having someone to come in and, you know, even tell their story, like, you know, my, you know, if you come in and they hear somebody say, oh, I didn't go straight to university or, or here's, or I worked full time while I was getting my degree, then they might think, oh, wow, I'm, you know, I'm not the only one or I can do it. Right. So encouraging people locally or globally, it's, it, it is a thing. And I'm, I'm glad that you're on board with it. I'm glad Speaker Post is here. And I'm glad you're a visionary. And I'm so happy to call you a sister friend. Thank you. No, I believe in authentic voices, right? And all authentic voices should be heard. And we have to pre provide that platform. And our community, if you look at it and you spend some time on how many people are on the platform and who and what they look like, you will see how diverse it is. And we have to celebrate those differences as well, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, absolutely, you know, I am excited that you are on the platform and I'm excited that we're even having this conversation that you are helping me, you know, um, share uh, the mission of, you know, what we're trying to do here at Speaker Post. And um, my last little thing would be, you know, sometimes, you know, we talk about college all the time, you know, but some, some kids 
are never meant to go to college. Maybe that's not their path. And we have to respect that and celebrate that as well. You know, maybe talk about the skill sets. All right, well, you are in community college. What can you do if you don't want to go to college? Even for that, you need, you need mentors, you need guidance, you need um, uh, folks who say, it's okay, whatever you decide, you know, you're a student, you know, we will help you in whatever way we can. That's what this community is all about. And you know, Kamal, I'm so glad you brought that up because we, you and I spend quite a bit of time in the higher ed space. But before you get to higher ed, there's K through 12, right? And so Speaker Post also allows opportunities to go into K through 12 classrooms. Absolutely, yeah. So um, high school, I feel like, is the place where we need to be there for the students. Um, there are career centers and, you know, uh, and, um, you know, people, career counselors who are in charge of making sure that the kids learn about different careers and if they have questions, they'd find ways to answer. So we have a bunch of um, career professionals on the platform as well, who are often like looking for speakers who can come and help their kids um, and, and talk to them. Um, and, and I think even the community college space, the two years before kids some kids choose to do community college before transferring um, to, to university for many, many reasons, several financial reasons. Um, and um, that, that category is often looking for, um, you know, people to come in uh, and talk to the kids because that's when they're really confused. They're undecided on their majors um, and um, they'd really benefit from our community there. I, I agree 100%. I think that, you know, several points that you've made. Number one, college isn't for everybody, right? And so it's okay to talk to kids and say that, right? You know, of course, we all think I want my kids to go to college, right? But if, if that is not the path for them, we what we really want as parents, community members, loved ones, is for our youngsters to be, uh, you know, great citizens, right, and productive. And that can come in many different forms. So being okay with that and encouraging them, and still there's many things that you can do where you can mentor someone, even if they don't go into your discipline or your industry, right? So the soft skills, how to negotiate, if, you know, a job is a job is a job, right? But how, how you engage on that job and how you can be successful in your job or your career in your community, it's, it's all important. So I think that the mentorship, the coaching, the, just the engagement is important across the lifespan. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes it isn't about the career. Sometimes it's about life. Okay, you want to go stay with somebody, you know, um, you know do, can you afford the rent? How much is the rent in Los Angeles? You know, how do we budget? You know, even things like that. Those are life skills. Those are not like career skills. But the idea of the Speaker Post community is that we come together to help who, every child that needs us, right? That we can we can touch a life, a student life in some way. Um, and so for me, you know, um, it, it's so important like that I had this like-minded group of people who believe um, in, in making a difference, who believe, in, you know, in giving back in some way, in donating their time to help. Some of us can't donate in money, but we can, we can donate time. Um, and um, that's what this community seeks to do on a regular basis. Yes. And I love your community. I, again, I love you. I love being part of it. And so I did want to ask you, um, you know, you again have had multiple careers. You've done many amazing things. And I do academic career coaching and I do coaching. And so is there a time where you would ever recommend that someone reach out to a coach? An academic coach? Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. You know, so I work with um, a special UCLA program even right now. Um, and it's, it's connected to the Da Vinci High Schools here. So the students who do not 
go into college naturally because of whatever reason, um, spend the 13th year of high school mm -hmm. um, and UCLA takes care of their entire one year of uh, tuition mm -hmm. um, to help them, you know, take that next step into college at some point. Mm -hmm. um, and so I teach at one of those programs and um, there they have this um, concept of academic coaches and that's, I, I was introduced to that um, concept at that high school level uh, when I started teaching at, at this program. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you, it is so beneficial. Right. It is so beneficial to have an academic coach uh, because often I think the academic coach is also a life coach. It's also a motivational coach. It's somebody who would like, you know, encourage that child, provide that confidence to move on and say, you can do it. You know, you can do, I could do it. You can do it. It isn't rocket science. You can get there. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's rocket science, but most times it isn't. <laughs> so I, I would strongly recommend it. And I would strongly recommend it for um, folks, whether they are at a high school level, college level, or graduate school level, mm -hmm. um, to, to talk with someone um, who is an expert. It, they may not have all the answers, right? But they have, they're asking the right questions to help you navigate that space. So absolutely, right. I would recommend right. it. Mm -hmm. So we've got coaches, we've got mentors, we've got, you know, career professionals. So these, you know, people and students and individuals who join speaker posts and are able to engage will have well-rounded teams, access to people that they may not have in other spaces. So Dr. Kapoor, I just want to thank you so much for creating this space and being available and being on, you know, our podcast today. So how can people get in touch with you? Well, hello at speakerpost.com is the easiest way. Um, if you would like to share an invitation code um, for your um, listeners and viewers, um, you know, please go ahead and, you know, I'm going to, I can share that with you and you can forward that along. Um, you know, it is a free platform, but we're trying to keep out the salesy folks. And that's why we have an invitation forward. I'd love for folks who really care about the mission, um, and wanting to help to join the platform. Um, and so, you know, once you're on the platform, you can just reach me through an internal messaging system on the platform. Very well, very well. And that is speakerpost.com. So you all please go on and look at it. And I am again, Dr. Loren M. Hill, your academic career coach. And I'm with Acclivity. You can find us at theacclivity.com. Thank you again so much, Dr. Kapoor. Thank you for having me.